What's up, world? It's your girl, Jiggly Boos. Make sure <laughs> Jiggly Boos. Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Because I just want to build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I want to keep it real with you. I want to live better, eat better. I want to love better, sleep better. Yeah. Make sugar tits. <laughs> Jiggly moves, make sugar tits. <laughs> uh, let's, let's, let's start there, Miss Jiggly. What uh, what inspired that name, Jiggly Moves, make sugar tits? Where did where did that come from? Because when I got the DM, I was like, okay, this must be one of those porn site ads. Wow. Like, you know, uh, yeah, uh, click here for 20 nudes of me doing stuff. So where did it come from? Wait, hold on. Hot chicks want to bang you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get, I, I get so mm -hmm. Literally, all it was was I saw um, this meme on the internet where this guy um, he met, was on this mailing list and he just made that his wife's name so that their her mail would come back with that name on it. And I was like, this is hilarious. <laughs> and so <laughs> the childish in me was like, hmm. And it was around the time where I wanted to make an Instagram too. And I was like, well, what would be a good username? Not my government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me just use this joke and, you know, I made it and then I realized you couldn't change it. So, yeah. You can? I don't think you can. Can you? I know, like, uh, TikTok, you have to wait a couple of, like, you can only change it once every couple of weeks or something like that. Uh, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe Instagram is different. I'm just not big on social media, so I don't really know, like, what usernames you can change and mm -hmm. can't, but I know that. I don't think you can change the Instagram one though, so it's just you'd have to make a new page. Yeah, I probably would have to make a new one. So, and that's just too much work. So I feel you. Well, okay. What's been what's been the response to like your DMs and uh, you know comments and things like that? Have people reacted to that name? Um, <laughs> I always get embarrassed when guys ask me for my Instagram because it's like <laughs> I know I have to type that in. Yeah. And but usually they just have the reaction you have. They just laugh and mm -hmm. it's like I give them that whole story and it's like you know I have to let them know. No, it's not an OnlyFans name. Like you know it's just a joke and I'm childish. Like you could do like <laughs> a OnlyFans slash uh, a comedy career. Right. Jiggly boobs make sugar tits. Come right. in for laughs and boobs. <laughs> jiggly for sure. Just call right. me Jiggly. Jiggly. So yeah. okay, Miss Jiggly. Uh, I mean Miss <laughs> Mix Miss make sugar tits. Um, what we were talking about yesterday, um, with you, you, you asked me, would men be put off by my Instagram presence or how I present myself on Instagram? Um, let's have that conversation. <laughs> how do you feel about how you present yourself on Instagram and, and what would, or what kind of reaction do you expect from men? I feel like guys instantly think that think OnlyFans when they see my my Instagram username, which is understandable. But then when they see the pictures or some of the pictures accompanied with that, mm -hmm. it's kind of hard for me to gauge because like we had the conversation yesterday as well. You know, I just recently got some work done on my body. Right. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I showed you any pictures of how I used to look before then, mm -hmm. but I used to be overweight. And I'm talking about just straight legs running up back, just no butt, just straight cardboard, just pancakes back there, you know? So when I got my body done, it just opened up like this newfound confidence for me. And so like I liked, I would never wear nothing like this, you know, before I did what I did. So it's just kind of hard, like it's difficult for me to, to gauge what is, I guess, quote unquote, appropriate and was kind of like pushing the line. Like, I don't want guys to think I'm a stripper or anything, but I don't know. I guess it depends on perception because I don't feel like I have anything on my Instagram that says she, you know, is the OnlyFans girl. It's or, for the you know. streets. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think that's what my Instagram conveys. I think it just conveys confident, beautiful young woman who is 
you know, happy about very body positive and confident in how she looks. And that's something that I cherish. Like, that's something that's important to me because I didn't always have that, you know. So mm. it's just difficult. Like, I feel like people that naturally are voluptuous don't care about it. So they might cover up a little bit more. But I never had it. So I like to show it off a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But um, I don't know. Like, we had the conversation, I guess. I don't know. I just think when I get older, when I'm starting to push 30, maybe, and I want to do a little bit of rebranding, that's when I might just go ahead and make that other page and just <laughs> use, use that government LinkedIn name. Page. Yeah, sure. but for now, like, I feel like I just want to enjoy this. Enjoy Jiggly. Like, I just want to be Jiggly for a minute. Can I just get two years <laughs> and just show it off? <laughs> Okay, so when you, when you reached out and talked about um, wanting to add a more modern um, modern woman slash young woman perspective to the conversation, and you're relatively young. So what do you mean by that, number one? And um, what are you curious about as it relates to your perspective on this? Um, so technically, I'm Gen Z, right? Mm -hmm. Born in 1998. And I just think, I think there's some disparities between like, my generation, millennials, Gen X, and so far and beyond, with how we look at relationships. And I think it's just as the line has trickled down, I just think it's gotten worse and worse. And like we were talking about, um, my generation is just kind of like, wow, when it comes to the the whole relationship dynamic and the whole, I don't need a man or I don't need a woman. So like, we got it bad. Like we, we on that heavy. You know? yeah. And I'll say it's more so coming from the women's side, like the young women. Mm. Um, you know, I'm in college, so. I'm around like a lot of young girls. I'm around girls that's my age, 24, and even younger, 23, 22, 21, 20. And like we all pretty much, it's all just the same thing. And I don't know if it's being pushed on us, quote unquote, or it's just the whole we never saw what we should aspire to. We never saw those relationships. And so many of us come from less than desirable circumstances right um and i think it's just it's detrimental um not only for future generations but for us in the future because there's a very big possibility that we're gonna be some sad old cat ladies mm. like it's fun now because you know we find now like we attractive now we you know, beat the face, go to the club, guys buying drinks, chasing us down the street, like that whole pretty privilege thing. Like it's it's great now, but it can only last for so long. And I don't think I don't think everybody thinks about the fact that it can only last for so long because a lot of young people don't think about the future. They don't think about their life um, as far as where they want to be in 10, 20, 30 years. And it's bad. Like it's bad it's so bad like i don't want to talk bad about my friends because i love them to death but like some of the music that we listen to like all the rappers all the female rappers it's all the same message you know mm. use a man for his money <laughs> cheat <laughs> do what you want to do stay in the streets go out party like it's, it's it's a lot about just being selfish and being self-centered and less about what you can give and what you can build and what you can do for your community. It's more about self-serving and what you can do for you. Yeah. <laughs> so so do, you, do you think it's, um, cause this is a question I get a lot. A certain group of people believe it's, they don't know any better. A certain group of people believe they know better, they just don't care. Wh which, which one do you think it is? Do you think y'all don't know any better or y'all know better, you just don't care? We know better and we just don't care. Ooh. Explain. We know better. Explain. We know better. Um, well, maybe I should say it's kind of a mixture of both. Because some really don't. Some are some really are ignorant. Um, some people come from a long line of city girlhood. 
Mm. And so they they don't know to what's out there. Like you just don't know what you don't know. So, but a lot of us, as we get older, you know, we start to see our friends get married and they start to see what their life is about. I mean, I don't know, it's difficult. I feel like girls more so my age know better. But coming into like the late teens to about 21, you don't. Um, I don't know. That's a difficult question. 